Hello and God bless you. Welcome to your five minute spiritual checkup. I am Evangelist Kelly Harrison. Matthew 5 14 through 15 reads as follows Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Here, Jesus teaches his disciples that we who believe on Jesus Christ are the light of the world. We are giving the illumination of heavenly things in a world that is dark with evil, harshness, and things that are ungodly. We cannot hide this light. The world should know by the way we carry ourselves by the way we conduct ourselves, by the way we speak, that we belong to the Most High God. I am reminded of a time where one of my co-workers made a statement to me that all Christians should be lined up and shot. And I looked at him and I said, I am a Christian. And I went back to my office and wept because he did not know that I was a child of God. But I realized after I examined myself that my life had not been showing forth the Christian virtues. And so at that moment, I asked the Lord to forgive me. And I began to walk even more closely with the Lord. We must do this self-examination. We must look at ourselves and know whether we exemplify a life of Christ. If we do not, how then will the world be drawn to Christ? Let us not hide our light, but let us live it so that it is set on a hill that men may see God in us. Father God, we worship and magnify your holy and righteous name. You alone are worthy of all glory and praise. Lord, we ask that you search us. If we do not exemplify your character, those things that you have told us to be an example of, Forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It is our desire to walk closely with you and to please you and to let our light shine so that men may see our good works and glorify you, Father, who is in heaven. So, Lord, as we continue our day, let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' righteous name we pray. Amen. If you have enjoyed this devotion, please like and subscribe. By liking and subscribing, you help me reach more people with this gospel. God bless you.